Yeah, Shepard's better than you, kid. Too bad. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into Huerta Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drug blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Uh, he asked me he should have shot right when he saw him. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made yeah. me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odin and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Alright, let's see. Oh, I've got a lot of reputation now. Admiral Stephen Hack, Admiral David, Dr. Leon, the Enhanced Defense Intelligence, Garrus Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat engineer. He was born on Palavan and became a Citadel security. Hmm. I might play those later, like in a later video, just for like all of you guys. Um, I'll just play them all at once. There's something I was looking for, but I can't find it for the life of me. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's get this. Hmm. Like this, too. 
All right, let's let's try this. Oh, that's expensive. I actually still have quite a bit of money left. All right, let's see how this, this works. Enter shooting range, yes. Um, can I switch weapons at all? Or yeah, let's see. Wow, this thing is heavy. Ooh. Well, it equals damage, lower capacity, lower fire rate, but remember, it's not upgraded. Oh, that, that is very black. Oh, that makes my capacity even higher than... No, wait. I don't know. I'm let's put that on. Let's put this. So let's see. Less capacity, more damage. That's what I thought. Now, let's see how much ammo this thing has. 27. Alright, it's got a good amount of ammo. If I just unequip this completely, hmm, might be better off keeping it so light anyway. So let's let's test this baby out. in. Alright. Alright, let's see. One body shot almost kills it. I think that armor. Actually, I'm pretty interested to see this thing. So yeah, that just completely knocks it out. See how it is. Wow, so apparently it just... Alright, I'm liking the Black Widow. Yes, it is a ton heavier than my Valiant, but you know, we'll be trying it out in the next mission, see how it goes. It's uh, looking pretty damn beastly so far. Just saying. Oh, even that recoil of just boom sound. It's pretty comforting. I mean, the Valiant, yeah, the thing was amazing as you've seen, but this it didn't have the umph. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts. Let's see, maybe this Spectre office has something to say about that. We'll see. Wait, let's check the mission summary. Server ciphers. Alright. I actually still have 41,000 left, so I'm not doing too bad on money. So even if uh, I do end up hating the Black Widow, which I don't see happening, it will still be, you know. I should probably go check up on Thane, but. You know, as far as game goes, it's not going to penalize me for taking a little bit too long to get there. Hopefully. I mean, this isn't they hit where? games. Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to... Crap, do we have any AI-enabled practice mm. in Sovereign? Any Reaper Codex analyzed? Required no AI-enabled got the Citadel back under control pretty damn fast. Thank you oh again, yeah. Earth Clan. Alright, I guess we'll just move on. Spectre status Let's go to the hospital please. first.
Now arriving at no, Cuerca Memorial Hospital. Oh, and this consultant's still sitting around. Welcome to Serta. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's get this. Let's get this. Be safe. Oh, this place is not looking too good. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Oh, sad. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are oh. we to choose who lives or dies? That's not well, what we do. The moral we help side, our patients. So. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we well, are I do careful agree with her to now, some extent. Can I help you? I'm looking for also. a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well... He asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> oh, God. You speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I 
brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. <laughs> 